I'm going I'm to be so honest. There's a difference between somebody being that fit for an NFL position and then somebody being that swole answering telephones at at and I struggled with everyone that like really went to the gym and like bodybuild and all that stuff. I just struggled because I would just see the vanity in it. And I'm like, man, I can. And I just worked with so many men and I can see how it was dominating their mind. True. But I do notice. What exactly would constitute gluttony, especially considering the modern access we have? You see people like The Rock, <laughs> who eats 10,000 calories a day or something ridiculous like that. Is that not gluttony since he's eating that much for fitness reasons? So bodybuilders, people that are just inhaling protein um, mm -hmm. for fitness reasons, would we consider that gluttony? Yeah, man. I think it's just when we're um, abusing the purpose of food. So I think God has a purpose for us needing to eat. And, and that's okay. And it's okay for us to um, not only enjoy it for the fuel that it is, and we can enjoy it for the amazing taste that it has and all of that. But when that becomes your uh, driving factor and what's leading you, because here's the thing too, it's all about balance. So in our coaching program, um, we have our, the men working on moderation because a lot of people will tell you that just things are bad. You can't do certain things we do need to abstain from and not do, but other things are in moderation. And so, and eating is one of those. And, and that's why I don't like to have the black and white conversations. And it's not the, am I this or that is to what extent. And so it's not, am I eating? Am I not eating? It's to what extent are you eating? Why are you eating? And I think when you're asking questions like that, that'll help you know if you're being gluttonous. So when you sit down and you put food into your mouth, it should have a purpose, man. And here, here, here's what I love about it though. I think our body will give us feedback when we're being uh, gluttons, right? You put on pounds, you'll have indigestion, you'll have tr trouble uh, sleeping. And so then we also get some physical feedback as well. That's the body's design too. So the body is designed that way, like when it starts responding in that certain manner. Um, so it's it's interesting to think about. I think it can be excessive. I'm just not too sure to like what extent, because I, I think I'll say this. I think we have to be, I think we have to be aware of what we're willing to consider normal or what becomes normal in society. Because if we aren't careful, we'll allow what's considered normal to be to become principles and ways that we should live and do things and navigate. Bodybuilding is normal. It's been around for a long time. People intake in high protein volumes been around for a long time. I'm going to be so honest. There is a difference between somebody being that fit for an NFL position being a linebacker, a running back, oh yeah, all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, there's a huge mm -hmm. difference between the, that being the purpose and then somebody being that swole answering telephones at AT and T. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real. Like, I'm gonna say the same I'm, thing. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you can't be fit and you can't be swole and that you don't have. And I'm not saying you can't like your shirts tight around your biceps and all that kind of stuff. I get that look good and you feel good, right? I just don't think you need to pursue his diet or his way of doing things <laughs> or his bodybuilding plan Dude. for you to be fit because you aren't doing what they're doing. So okay. there's a whole different purpose behind why they do it compared to you. You don't need to be uh, 265, 0% fat and swole to your neck sitting at the desk all day because you're not, you're not doing that. Like, what are we doing? So that's. That's kind of my energy like that anyway. Yeah, my that's my kind of energy, too. And then on top of that, too, I don't think there's a lot of people that talk about how unhealthy people like a lot. There's a lot of unhealthy bodybuilders out there like they look swole and they got muscles on muscles, but their heart, their heart is literally suffering. Like yeah. it's not only expanding, but it's it's literally slowly causing them to die because of all of the stuff that they're putting in their body that as a result is causing them to get those results faster, but they don't know. Nah, that's why a lot of these cats are coming out talking about they was on roids and they're paying the price for it. And not oh, even yeah. just roids. There are some people who did it cleanly, but like your body just isn't designed to be a, a big ball of muscle. So I think there's a balance that needs to be had just like anything <laughs> balance, wisdom, balance, uh, and moving forward in that. I just think there I'm with D like there's just purpose behind it. So I don't think you need to be on Aaron Donald's diet 
if you're not doing Aaron Donald things. Yo, listen, I've got something amazing in the works for you available right now. If you're somebody who's looking to make this year your best year yet at diving into your faith and allowing it to become more applicable in your life. Never known where to start. You've always been confused. It feels overwhelming. Maybe you feel you don't have time. You don't know how to apply the Bible into your life. You have so many questions and thoughts as to what makes sense. How does it make sense? Don't worry, your boy's got you covered with the Faith Factory. Click the link down in the description below and in this Google document, you will find a plethora of resources that are at your disposal for you to be able to grow in your faith. I'm talking Bible plans, content creators to follow and subscribe to that better will enrich your faith. Resources, links, books, all of that good stuff, even worship playlists, something to jam out to as you progress through your day. I really think this can be the start of something good for you and the lives around you by locking in and making sure that this year is your best year spiritually, therefore making it your best year ever. Don't forget to click the link in the description and go be great. One, one thing I will say though, um, I struggle with that. And I used to just, I struggled with everyone that like really went to the gym and like bodybuild and all that stuff. I just struggled because I would just see the vanity in it. And I'm like, man, I can, and I just worked with so many men and I can see how it was dominating their mind. True. But I do notice it was allowing me to become a little bit sloppy with my body. And I think while we don't need to be necessarily bodybuilders, Aaron Donald, I think a lot of us should look closer to that than we should where we do now. Because and what really helped me get to this place without needing to be vain was seeing the New Testament talk about the body being our temple but then going back and reading in the Old Testament, because I didn't know what a temple was, like ninja. I ain't never been to a temple. Great been to a temple. I ain't never been to a temple, though. And it's like, and it's like, yo, like, what is that? And then when you start hearing them talk about the temple um, and how sacred that was and how special that was, and it's like, oh, well, hold up. <laughs> I'm not doing that. And so I have up the standard, and and I'm trying to progress with better attention to my body. And I think that's good for all of us. And I think when we do that, you naturally will look better, but yeah, just don't, that's a way to take care of yourself without the vanity. At least I found. No, I like that. I, yeah, like, I like that too. I, I, I do believe that we should pursue that healthier type of space for our lives that, that look instead of being lazy about that. Yes. Because of that very thing. Do you not know the scripture asks is that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. In other words, God says, I move through you. And so your availability, it's kind of like playing for the Eagles. Your availability is the most important thing, right? So if you're not available, then it, it, you know what I'm saying? You have to, it's, guys have to, you gotta be available. And so the more available you are to God, the better it is that it, that it works out. All, all kidding aside, really, it's our availability. Uh, to God to be able to use it and the fact that we represent something um, in this temple that we have so yeah availability is the uh, best ability is yes. that's that's where it's at yeah if you stuck to the end of this from the bottom of my heart thank you oh so much if you want to hear more of these kinds of conversations in this format please check the description below there you will find a link to sign up for a maverick membership this is where the truth project sessions go down every thursday night 7 p.m central time where you can be a part of conversations just like the one i shared in this video your worldview is welcome no matter what worldview you come from and we're all there pursuing one goal truth check the link in the description sign up three days for free after that it's 9.99 a month but you'll get your money's worth and then some i'll see you over there and until next time be easy and be breezy my friend peace